Go. Boy, oh, is that you? I didn't mean to wake you up. <laughs> Go back to sleep. I haven't been asleep. What time is it? It's about four o'clock. Oh, you're pretty late. I had to walk all the way from uptown. Or far uptown. Oh, way uptown. I let a crowd shake me like a fool. Oh. And didn't have enough sense to get the car fed. You don't realize how hot it is until you sit down. Oh, <laughs> oh you must have had the gas lighted to make it as hot as it is in here. Lord, I am so glad to be home. You didn't bring in nothing? Not a cent, Joe. I don't know what's the matter with me. Oh, it must have been that darn fever blister. If only I had enough sense to get that camp out that first day. But it's most well now. Can't hardly notice it anymore. Well, of course, it's perfectly well. Oh, there won't be a trace of it tomorrow. <laughs> Some night. Poor old boy. Well, why don't you take your clothes off and come to bed? I swept these for you. Gee, ta. Joe, I wish you wouldn't say ta. I don't know why I hate it so much. Hard, oh, missus. Common stuff, huh? Don't pay any attention to me. I'll say anything I say. If I don't got some money tomorrow, I, I don't know what I'll do. It's terrible to be so dependent on anything as that. Four days. No, no, no. Tonight's Saturday. Well, that's four days, ain't it? We finish up the last deck Tuesday night. Oh, that's right. I wouldn't have believed I could go so long. I don't see how you're standing, Joe, all night like this doing nothing. I've been out. Don't worry about me. I can get on without the stuff for a while. I can't. But then again, I've been using it much longer than you have. It's been going in. I've been going in some time. Every month or so before we took up together last summer. To think, it's only a year. I wonder what it became of you if I hadn't found you. What becomes of all these poor bastards who get knocked down and can't get back in the ring? That's the I don't with know, you boys. <laughs> you're only 24 and you're done. I'll be 24 in October, I guess. Oh Lord, it makes me feel so old. <laughs> That's how you stand the strain the way you do. Mm -hmm. You are as firm and as strong as everything, man. Look at me. Well, if a fellow has much to do, as much training as I used to, he or more or less keeps in condition, I guess. Oh, I feel so old and tired and discouraged. Joe, if I didn't have you, I didn't know if I could go on. I'm sticking to you, see? I love you more than anybody else who ever loves you. If I live to be a thousand years old. <laughs> I don't reckon anybody loved me as much as if I was that old. <laughs> I should. Oh. <laughs> but you're only a baby now. A little low infant. <laughs> Joe? Um, my darling. You tired kid. No, not now. I get the strength from you. You got plenty of strength for the both of us, haven't you? Um, it's funny, ain't it? Uh, for a girl like you to take up with a rough guy like me, they ain't never know nothing but how to put us hard but on the blink. <laughs> Don't bring funny people together. Uh, not so funny. You needn't tell me, kid. I may be wondering, but I may be nothing but a prize fighter, but I can tell a lady when I see one. And before that, I used to live on a farm in Kentucky. Oh, look, besides you won't even own up to it. That's a sure sign. <laughs> Oh, no, a very fine kind of lady. I told you all about myself. I did work on the evening sun. And before that, I used to live in a Kentucky farm. That's all there is to it. Well, that's what you say. I don't want you to tell me nothing you don't want to. You all right? Yes. I got something I want to talk to you about. We're up against it. I can feel your heart beating. Do you feel it? How much yours is being faster than mine? Yeah. 
The elevator sounds like the wind, like a spirit that can't rest. What was I talking about? I was talking about the L. Mm, yes. I was going to stay a while while I was laying so close to you, like it all seems so far away, doesn't it? Boy, if you get a good old snip, forget our troubles, right? Oh, poor old Joe. I declare I thought I would go crazy tonight. I could have got some stuff tonight, man. What, what do you mean? How, how? Who? The landlady. She was up here talking to me about it. When she knows how broke we are? We owe her two weeks as well. No, I guess she would have given me some. How do you mean, Joe? Yo, do you mean to tell me that that woman has been up here and after you again? I knew something was the matter. Did you? What did you tell me? I told her to get the hell out. What do you think I told her? Oh. I said I was off the stuff. Joe. Well, I didn't want it so bad then. She come up here she, when she heard me come in about 12 o'clock and put it up to me. She'd hold our things until we have to pay her. I suppose she knows that. That's what I gotta talk to you about. She's gonna kick us out. Kick us out? That's what she says, unless. Unless what? Well, you know, I've been thinking pretty hard and figuring out on putting it up to you. You think it's worth a while just to keep the room on and have a place to sleep, you see? But what are you talking about? Well, I think the old lady's reasonable. Joe, am I mad or, what are you talking about? Well, Never let me hear you say that again. Do you think I've let you? Well, I let you, don't I? That's altogether a different matter. God, it is hot in here. Now look here, kid. I got to live, ain't I? Of course, we got to do something. My God, it looks like it's the last night with good luck you're having. Joe, you don't understand. Sure. I get you. And I've always been straight with you. I think a whole lot more of you than you think. Now go on and say it. Say you love me. I love you. I marriage. love you, all right? And I'll stick to you. We got to live, ain't we? We got to get some money some way. And if you can't get it, I got to. That's if we're going to stick together. No, you haven't, Joe. I'd rather be dead. I'll starve to death before I'll see you do that and let you starve to death. The horrible old slut. I think I'll kill her. We can get out of here if you want. It don't have to be her. There's more than one way of picking up money around this town. What do you mean? You, I guess you must know. It's the only way. I see, I ain't got nothing but my looks. Joe, don't talk like that, please. I've gone without it for four days now. You are a strange boy. Can't you see that you're the only thing I've got left in this world? But I ain't leaving you, I tell you. Don't you understand that I found you when you were down and out done for? But I'm... Jay Nora, can't you listen to me? I don't want to do it, kid, but we've got to live. But you don't understand that I wouldn't touch you with the 10 foot pole afterwards? Don't you see that? Of course! If you feel that way about it, we can bust up so far as that goes. If you think no more about me than that. Don't, Joe. I've always been straight with you. I've treated you right all the way and I'm trying to stick by you. But of course, if that's the way you feel about it, all right. I got to live, ain't I? No. What do you mean by no? I don't see why there is any reason to live. I'm going to live. Joe, my darling, listen to me. I gave up my job and just let myself slide. I intended to kill myself when my money ran out. And I didn't even care how much I had left. I found you, and then I found you that night at Mitchell's place. I remember. You can't remember that much. I can't bear to think even now how you were beat up. But you were so full of it, you didn't even know your arm was broken. That's right. I think it was broke two days before that. Yeah. I remember when it went. Yeah. 
And since then, Joe, we've had such a wonderful time. We had a good time, all right. Um, what do you say you don't go on with it? What do you mean, don't go on with it? Turn on the gas. Bitch, what are you getting at? Not for mine. Joe, we've had such a wonderful time. You must be kidding. Come on. I was never more serious in my life. I can't go on with it. And I won't leave you behind to live without me. It's you that I love. It's a strange little spirit that makes you in a dip that makes you different from everybody else that has ever lived. If you go on, you are going to destroy that. Then you won't be you, and I won't be able to love you. I don't want to, kid. You ain't right to kill yourself. I, are you afraid to die? Sure, I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid of dying, I tell you. Let me turn on the gas, then. I'm not afraid. I don't get you. Let's turn on the gas. Then we won't have to wake up in the morning and be bothered and... I can't tell. Maybe you're scared. Will you turn on the goddamn oh, gas? Oh, Joe! Yes, and the stove too. How long will it take? Oh, not long. I think, I don't know. D don't let's talk about it, Joe. Do you think you got the right to take you with me? With you where? Now, like this, but I couldn't bear for anybody else to have you, Joe. Shh, you're trouble. I believe you're scared, you're scared now. I'm not scared, I'm happy. You happy? I thought I lost you, Joe. It's a tough thing to do, all right, kid? We're gonna put it in the papers. I expect so. Will they put in much? We'll be sure to find out who we was. You got letters and stuff in the trunk. We weren't anybody much. I expect they forgot about us. Um, I definitely... time yet. Maybe we won't smell it. Gee, we got to smell it. I don't smell nothing way down here. Mm, just wait and you will. It, it's only been a minute. Joe. Joe, come on back here. We've only had such a little while. I'm going to see what's the matter. Uh, give me a match. For heaven's sake, don't strike a match. There might be an explosion. It can't blow up if you can't smell it. I can smell it over here. Jeez, the meter's run out on us. The meter? But it can't have run out. Have you been using a gas at night? No, not but, but very little. But that's ridiculous. I haven't gotten a quarter to put in it. What can we do? Nothing. Unless we had a quarter. But Joe, that's ridiculous. We've got to do something. No, I guess not. But Joe! I guess it wasn't meant for us to kick out tonight, kid. <sighs> Gee. It's daylight. 